What's up? This tutorial is the part 2 of the JavaFX menu item. So in this video I'm going to show you on how to use the radio menu item, check menu item, sub menu item, uh, custom menu item and the separator menu item. So let's get started. So I'm going to open my IntelliJ idea and I'm going to use the previous project which is the JavaFX menu bar. So the radio menu item is the same as the toggle button, uh, radio button, and as well as the check menu item. But the difference in the but the difference of the two is the radio menu item can be toggle as group, and the check menu item is uh, we cannot toggle this, we cannot group this one. So let's get started and I'm going to create the radio menu item and I'm gonna create this one right here and this one is radio menu item uh, let's say this as R1 plus new radio menu item and let's initialize it, its name let's say for example uh, how about PNG or uh, true or false true and another one for false close new radio menu item this one is false all right and Now I'm gonna create a toggle button. I mean the toggle toggle group. This one is R group. Toggle group and R group. Let's call the R group to get the toggles and add all. And I'm gonna pass in the R1 and R2. And I think that's it. And the next let's proceed to adding the, min the radio menu item to our file menu and let's what let's add this right here let's call the r1 and r2 all right and let's try to run our application to see what that look like all right and if i'm going to click the menu the file menu it will open up the menu items and this one is the menu item open save exit and true or false true and false these one right here these two right here are the uh, radio menu item if i'm going to click on true it will select the true and yeah it's it, the true is selected if I'm going to click on false, the true will be unselected and the false will be selected. All right, that's how the uh, toggle group works. And let's add the let's add some action events. And I'm gonna call the R1 that's set on action, and I'm gonna use the lambda expression as well as R2 set on action event and now we have an action event we created an action event and I'm gonna call the alert method here this one so if I'm going to click on true and false it will this it will show the alert and alert all right if I'm going to run this and click on true it will show the alert right here as well as on false all right and the next step is that's it and let's proceed to creating the check menu item and let's create the check menu item this one is check menu 
item uh, c1 equals new c1 and I'm gonna call this uh, stroke for circle something like that <coughs> check menu item c2 equals check menu item stroke for rectangle all right so this one is we cannot group this one so let's let's just add it on our file menu so c1 and c2 and i'm going to add on the action event c1 that's set on action as well as on c2 and alert alright so let's run the application now we have a check menu item here at the bottom and I'm going to click on stroke for circle shows the alert it pop up the alert and uh, the stroke for circle is selected and as well as stroke for rectangle as well all right that's it that's how the check menu item works in JavaFX so let's continue with the sub menu item to create the sub menu item we have to make uh, another menu menu class so this one is sub menu item and let's make another menu menu uh, sub menu equals new menu and let's say for example this one is save as something like that and Let's call the sub menu sub menu that get items that add. Now let's try to add the radio menu item, the, which is the true or true and false. And I'm gonna call the R1 and R2. So I'm gonna remove the R1 and R2 here and replace with sub menu. I'm gonna call the sub menu here all right and let's run the program all right if I'm going to click on file menu it will open up the menu items and sub menu this one is the true and false which are, which is the radio menu item all right that's sub menu works in JavaFX yep and that's it that's how you create a menu, sub menu item in JavaFX so let's proceed with the custom menu item to create a custom menu item the custom menu item is you can add nodes in the custom menu item like this so let's create the custom menu item uh, custom menu item custom item now let's create a button button btn equals new button and I'm gonna name our button as uh, um, tensoft ph for example and I'm gonna call the custom item that uh, set hide on click if we are going if we are clicking the button it will uh, stay the same something like uh, it won't hide 
the custom menu item uh, will not hide. So I'm going to uh, set this to true. Set hide on click. I mean false. False, right? Custom item that set content. Let's call the BTN. And let's add the custom menu item here at the bottom, bottom of the file menu, and custom item. We can also add the, uh, the custom item to our about, about the get items that add custom item. All right, and let's run the program to see what that look like. So there's an error. Adding new item null has. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong in the file menu, and. Our this is our custom menu item. This is the button, and if I'm going to click the button, it won't hide the custom menu items still displayed. Now, if I'm going to set this to true, and if I'm going to click on button, it will hide the custom menu item. Something like this. All right but there's something wrong in our files in our file menu item unchange okay okay Alright, that's it. And the next step is to uh, create the separator menu item. To create our separator menu item, this one is separator menu item. And I'm gonna call the separator menu item separator. And separator menu item that uh, is there an orientation? Orientation? No. So let's add the separator menu item to our file menu. And this one is separator. And let's run through. Let's run our program to see what that look like. All right, this is the separator. The separator menu item. And let's add another one. Alright, that's it. That's how the separator menu item works in JavaFX. So I think that's all and I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share and I will see you in the next video.